right here is uh, I uploaded WPS Office because I find this works best for me as a writer. Here is the uh, humongous book. It is right now over one million words. <laughs> when I'm done with this thing, it's probably going to be twice as long as the Bible. Uh, here's the table of contents that I created. Um, I haven't uh, decided on chapter headings for the new section that I'm adding, which is uh, going to start with uh, March 2020. So, um, yeah, but when I do that, this book is going to be humongous. But, um, yeah, I had to, uh, I had Libre Writer, and it just does not work for formatting for Kindle. Uh, WPS Writer. See, I have a Linux Ubuntu computer, and um, WPS Writer is much better for me because uh, the problem with Libre Writer is you cannot create a working table of contents for Kindle with Libre Writer. See, here I'm able to do so. Um, the... Uh, the biggest problem with Libre Writer was trying to uh, get uh, set it up so that it would work good with Kindle. See, uh, I have a book on how to format a uh, document for Kindle, and I'll have a. I created a web page for that. Here's the. Here's what I was so thrilled when I found out I could do this with WPS Writer. So you highlight it. This is when uh, when you're getting ready to publish it. Then you go to, to, to menu here. There's a drop down menu. You go to insert. Then you go all the way down to uh, bookmark. Okay, then this pops up. And this is what I love here. You can type in TOC and then just hit add. You see that? And that way it's all set up for Kindle. Uh, the, basically, you can't do that with Libre Writer. Um, the only problem is uh, WPS uh, off Writer does not let you save this as a filtered HTML file. And that's actually necessary when you're going to submit it to, uh, and it, does, the, it doesn't publish as EPUB either. So in order to uh, submit your um, dot manuscript to KDP Amazon, which is the way I do it, you will need to create your own filtered file by using an online converter or using something like Calibre to create an EPUB file. So what I'm going to do is when I'm done with Bible for Future Saints, I'm going to give my men both an EPUB and a filtered HTML file, which I will have created online. And if one doesn't work, the other probably will. But I'm going to do basically everything that I used to do with Microsoft Word to prepare the uh, manuscript for Amazon Kindle. So, yeah, I, I spent all day yesterday uh, going through. See, the problem was that um, the uh, document... Here's some of the new stuff that I'm putting in here. Um, there were some inconsistencies between Microsoft Word and um, Libre Writer, and the, I'm finding WPS Writer is better uh, if the uh, for formatting for uh, for Kindle. See, like um. Like, I like to have Jesus' words in red, and this will work on some people's devices when they look at it as an ebook. And the, uh, the fonts that were available in Libre Writer were a slightly different shade of red. <laughs> and I, I like to keep it looking consistent and professional, so I was, I'm thrilled that I discovered that WPS Office is working for me. I had to actually, I went into, uh, uh, Linux Ubuntu's repository and the WPS office they had there needed to be updated so, and I had to do that online uh, but once I did that this is working pretty good so yeah this is very similar to Microsoft Word which I actually have a certificate in and uh, this is going to uh, work out great for me but I spent all day yesterday 
uh, kind of formatting them. Now it looks like I'm going to be able to go forward and uh, you know add to Bible for Future Saints. Uh, and then I'll, all I have to do is just give my men the file when I'm done and it will be formatted perfectly for Kindle and it should work really well. It'll be reflowable which means whatever device they're using whether it's going to be a phone, an Android, a Kindle uh, they should be able to read it easily. They can change the size of the font and yeah that's what happens when you format the book correctly. So. <laughs> Yeah, um, as far as, um, as far as paperback or paper version, because this book is twice, going to be twice as long as the Bible, if my men do decide to publish it uh, as a paper version, they're probably going to need to go with a Bible publisher and it will need to be published in Bible style, like probably like a parallel, how a parallel Bible is published. Um, here is how it's reading on my Kindle. I created a Mobi file using Calibre, so it's going to look different than this when they submit it to Amazon, hopefully better. <laughs> Come on, okay. Yeah. As I created this using Calibre, just to get an idea. What I don't like with Calibre is it's putting numbers before the chapters on, on, on certain aspects. Let me just go this way. Let's go to the beginning. Okay, this is, I had, this is a Moby file. Um, hopefully it's going to look better on... Um, Okay, but at least the table of contents works. That's really important because this book is humongous. So if this isn't working, then people are not going to be able to enjoy this book on Kindle. So you know it's formatted right. Like if you hit that, it'll take you right to the chapter. So there you go. You see? So that's how the... Uh, and I was able to do this with WPS Writer. So I was really glad that I, got, I was able to get the table of contents to work. Okay? Yeah, when you uh, use the table of contents that I created, it, eh, it's, it's, uh, I would, I would like it better if the, the, the chapter was centered like it is in the docx file, but at least they can get to the right spot, and it's readable. Um, it's possible when they submit it to Kindle that it's going to do better. I found when I submitted the, um, filtered htm file to, uh, <coughs> Kindle that it turned out really well. So I was happy about that. So anyways, um, I am working very hard on this. Um, I'm probably going to be done around Christmas. And I spent yesterday uh, fine-tuning uh, the format. I just wanted to see the problem is um, I lost my, I no longer have a Windows computer. And on the Windows computer, I had um, I had Microsoft Office Suite 2007, which I bought back in around 2007, and or around 2008, I think it was. And um, I've been working on that for all of my books, and it's a wonder. Microsoft Word is so compatible with Amazon. And I w when I got a Linux Ubuntu, uh, when Zach Knight gave me this computer here, it does not have a D drive, so I was not able to uh, put my Microsoft Office suite on here. And for some odd reason, nobody, uh, none of my men feel led to get me a D drive. I don't know why. Maybe they don't trust Microsoft. So I've been, uh, I have been uh, trying to figure out how to. Uh, write my books using Linux Ubuntu and the software that's available to me which is Libre Writer and WS Office and I'm figuring it out. Um, yeah, I've become, uh, the GIMP works fine on Linux Ubuntu and I've been able to, uh, I was able to make the book cover. So yeah, I self-publish but I, uh, from what I understand, um, yeah, 
Yeah, I love WS, WPS Office. I'm so glad I found this. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead. Do you want to save the changes you made to? Nope. I'm just, I'm just pulling that up to show people. So, um, yeah, I, here's, I'm going to go ahead and finish the web page that I created. It actually has um, the document called Building Your Book for Kindle. And you can get a free download of it from my website. And so if you have Microsoft Word and you want to self-publish on Kindle, an ebook, this is a very good instruction manual uh, here. Um, what I did is I've, I'm sponsoring this at this page, and um, but I'm letting you know where you have to jump off from it to do it differently for WPS Office to get the book to work the e ebook submission, you know, the file to work for Amazon. So, yeah, um, so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this might help people who are on Linux, Ubuntu, and who do not have the Microsoft Office suite. Uh, yeah, if you, you can work pretty well with WPS Writer. So go ahead and check, if you are a writer and you like to self-publish, Check this pa uh, web page out, especially if you're not working with Microsoft Word. And it will, I think this is going to work. The acid test will be around Christmas. And if it doesn't work, I'll update this page and let everybody know. But I think it will work.